HDR gaming on the PC is definitely getting better. Thanks to these new Lilium HDR shaders, we can now fix HDR gaming or even get a nice auto HDR effect for games that do not support native HDR or auto HDR from Windows 11. Take a look at this. Before, after. Before, after. It just works, okay? And I recently shared this new uh, Lilium HDR Black Floor Fix shader that it has a setting that's called Enable SDR Black Floor Emulation. And in some games, this works like a charm, okay? Take a look at the graph here. Let me show you. Let me get this graph bigger so you can see it. This brightness histogram graph. Take a look at this. Here, this is working like a charm. You see the black level is raised. When we use this setting, boom, it's perfect. So that fixes the contrast. You see before, after, before, after. And we are not crushing any details. This is just absolutely perfect black floor. And it's a single click, so you don't have to tweak settings up and down and try to you know, <laughs> do a lot of guesswork. This is very, very simple solution. So now it is not working for every single game. I don't understand why. So this HDR analysis tool for some reason is not working for auto HDR sometimes. So with some updates it works, with some updates it doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, eventually I, I hope that this is going to eventually work for every single game for auto HDR and for games that you open on SDR when you have HDR on, on Windows. And why would you want to do that? I mean, if you open a game that doesn't support native HDR, if you open that on, on SDR, when you have HDR on, on Windows, it looks washed out. Okay, why would you want to do that? Because if you can find a way to get the SDR contrast, but at the same time push the brightness, you get a much better picture quality. It's that simple. The brighter, the better. So right now on the recording here, this should be clipping. So let me turn on OLED Motion Pro here so we reduce the brightness for the recording. This is what I was using. This game is a nice game. It's called Ocean Horn 2. It's a Zelda-like uh, game. And it looks very, very nice. It, I, I'm liking it. I've been playing it for about three hours. And I, I recommend you to give it a try. It's a nice game. But this is so important, man. In my opinion, my order of priority is SDR, HDR trick. So a game like this that doesn't support HDR at all, it is the most important thing to get right. Why? Because you never want to play on SDR. If you have an HDR display, you always want to get this contrast, the brightness. You want to get this picture quality. And because HDR gaming is so broken, you always want to have the option that if you are not able to fix the native HDR, you can get a picture quality that's consistent. So for me, the most important thing to get right and to figure it out is this SDR HDR tricks. Then after that, Auto HDR, because Auto HDR from Windows 11 uh, is supported by many, many, many games. I would say almost every game is supporting now the uh, auto HDR from Windows 11. So definitely, if you have Windows 10 with an HDR display, get Windows 11. I highly recommend it just because of the HDR calibration app that works for every single auto HDR supported games. And for some native HDR games, it is now being supported. And then, of course, native HDR looks the best, but most of the time it's broken and you need to fix it. So that's, that's third place in the list of priorities for me, okay? Because if I can find a way to make an SDR, HDR trick look almost as good as the best native HDR game, of course, we're not going to get fine details and specular highlights, but if the contrast of the picture looks the same, if we can get the brightness and the color saturation, all of that, and that's awesome, okay? We need a backup plan. So we can always take advantage, take full advantage of our display. So now, let me share with you what I had to do 
to get this working because this didn't work out of the box. So you basically have to type in CSP, SC, or CSP HDR10 in this case. So I am opening this game, Ocean Horn 2. I am opening this game on SDR. I have HDR on, on Windows 11. And I increase that SDR HDR slider. <clears throat> in this case, to 97. And I will explain you why. Yeah, I believe it's 97. I'll, I'll post the settings on the description. Uh, 97, I will explain you why. So now, when you open the game and you turn on this Lilium's HDR analysis uh, shader, it's not going to work. And what you have to do is you have to type in here where it says CSP override. That's at the bottom. You have to type in CSP underscore HDR10. Okay, and by doing that, this is not gonna this is not going to be reading the Max L um, the real Max L. So because this is it's telling you that's ten thousand nits and it is not. Okay, this is not ten thousand nits or eight thousand nits, something like that. Uh, you have to understand the limitations of this uh, but in my opinion, from what I can see, the near black is being, the reading is, is okay. Because it's, from what I can see, uh, it is, this is fixing the near black and we're not crushing any details. So this is working very, very good in reading the near black, but not the max CLL. And then we have to do the same thing for this shader, Lilium's HDR Black Floor Fix. We have to scroll down and type in CSP underscore HDR10 or where it says CSP overwrite, okay? And all we have to do is enable this SDR black floor emulation and then we have a setting here that is called white point. And what I did is I max out this white point to get it as close to zero as possible. I maxed that out. So now again, this is not working on every single game for some reason, uh, but you get the idea, give it a try, open maybe a game that doesn't support HDR and give this a try and maybe play with this setting with a white point setting, um, just what white point setting. So for example, I opened Remnant and I had to change this white point setting. So Remnant, when you open it on SDR, when you have HDR on, on Windows, if you are speaking with a character, you have black bars, the black bars are not black. And what I had to do is to change this white point number until those black bars are black, okay? And the number was like 30, if I remember. With a black point, with a white point in 30, I was getting the black bars. But now when I do that, I am crushing details, okay? And the same thing happens when I use the SDR HDR trick with my TV settings. I am crushing near black details. So I would need to then increase the in-game brightness to 60. That's what I, that's what I did. Uh, but yeah, I'm not playing that game anyway. It just performed like crap. <laughs> I have to wait. So, but yeah, you get the idea. This is not gonna work the same for every single game, but give it a try because when it works like here, it works like a charm. And if you have a monitor that doesn't have settings to tweak the black level, and do this kind of SDR, HDR trick. This is very, very nice. Very, very nice. You can tweak the picture quality. Let me reduce the, the oh, let me just get this out of the way. So you see how it looks. So the game looks very good. It looks very good with this trick. And yeah, I actually recommend this game. It's a nice game. Sell the like game. I like the, the way the character moves. I like it. I like the animation. We have Paris. We have Paris. We just press this, the shield, and yeah, we have Paris. It's a nice game. I definitely recommend you to give it a try. I am enjoying it. Uh, it's an indie developer, so do not expect, you know, incredible nothing, okay? But for what it is, I, I enjoy it. I think it's worth trying, especially if you like Zelda. This is a nice game and the performance is amazing. I mean, I'm getting 120 frames per second, no problem so far, okay? Sometimes you see that my GPU is like at 90%, but so far from what I've played, 
it's a rock solid 120 frames no stutters awesome okay awesome performance this is 4k the game has fsr1 i think uh, it doesn't support dlss unfortunately uh, but the performance is very good and the game doesn't have like super high quality textures or anything like that you can see here i am using like um you know less than eight gigabytes of vram and you know the ram you see it right now the ram is going crazy like 18 over 18 gigabytes of ram because i am doing a lot of stuff on the background but the game doesn't use that much that much ram the performance would be better also if i am not doing that that many stuff on the on the on the background but yeah the game is performs flawless no stutters like zero stutters and the performance is fantastic uh, sell the like interesting game uh, beautiful colors i really really recommend you to give it a try and if you have a different uh, display if you have a monitor give this a try to see how it looks on your uh, on your display keep in mind that when you do this the max ELL is is reduced too so when you use this uh, SDR uh, black floor fix the max ELL is reduced and you can see here the line okay so before you see the line this was also updated this graph was updated and now you can clearly see the line that tells you where the black floor is this line is very useful very useful it makes it a lot simpler to see where the black floor is so then would you just enable that you're also lowering the max ELL and to know exactly what the max ELL now is you have to use the HDR WCG image viewer app just take a screenshot and use that so what I did basically I said I was gonna explain you this and I did it so let me explain you why uh, I reduced the SDR HDR slider on Windows to 97 when I use this shader the max ELL is reduced to 470 something so what I want is I want okay I want 540 but if I cannot get it then I can do tone mapping with 400 target so what I did here on my LGC one is I use 400 tone mapping so this is the 400 uh, tone curve so then I reduce the SDR HDR slider uh, brightness to get max ELL 400 and I get max ELL 401 by doing that so by reducing this with this you see that the max ELL is gonna be reduced then I reduce the SDR HDR slider on Windows to 97 and now the max ELL of the game is 401 so in that way I can push all the brightness and it looks the best but of course I would still recommend you if you have an LG OLED better use the settings that I recommend uh, because it's better in my opinion it's still better because the whites are going to be looking a slightly less washed out the whites but the near black is perfect with this fix but the whites are are looking better with the SDR SDR trick that I shared with you before but give this a try uh, just as an experiment we need to figure this out we need to figure this out because even if you have an LG OLED if we learn how to tweak the picture using reshade we know that no matter what display we buy in the future even if it's a monitor with no settings we can be confident that okay I don't care I know how to fix HDR from the source I know how to fix HDR gaming from the game if the game doesn't support HDR I know how to get the max ELL that I need I know how to push the brightness I know how to, I know how to fix the near black the mid tones the colors everything so we need to become a master of this uh, reshade if we want the best picture quality no matter which display we are using that's why I am sharing this but I have to keep making updates because this reshade is being updated all the time <laughs> so I have to I have to keep you posted so don't miss the videos <laughs> so let me know if you give this a try and if you have any questions all you have to do of course I've covered this before 
I'm gonna have a link in the description of the video explaining you how to install Reshade. Most PC gamers have done that before, but if you've never done it, I'm gonna have a video for you explaining how to install Reshade and how, how to install this new HDR analysis tool. It's very simple. Just go to the Reshade website, download that, and then go to the GitHub uh, link I'm going to have in the description of the video to download this new Lilium HDR shaders. And all you have to do is to copy those folders. It's two folders. One is called shaders and the other is called textures. You copy that and you paste it on the game executable folder. So where the game executable folder is, Reshade is going to create those two folders. All you have to do is just to copy the new information with this Lilium HDR shaders to get this working okay so let me know if you test this on a different game uh, let me know if you figured out something better or if you have any questions